Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be kind of like a monochromatic blush tone, mauve tone look. I really like monochromatic looks. Monochromatic just means that everything kind of matches with each other, so the eyes, the cheeks, and the lips. So that's what I wanted to do today. I kind of wanted to do like a more creative look today, but I didn't want to mess it up and then not be able to get a video up. So I'm going to try to do a creative look this week and get that up sometime. Um, I just like to have a little more like time in between just in case I don't really like how it looks that you guys aren't left without a video. So, um, trying to think if I've got anything to tell you. I'm having a meetup next Monday at the NYX Grand Opening in New Jersey at Willowbrooks Mall. And I think the NYX store is in like Bloomingdale. So I will be there from 5 to 7 p.m. on Monday night. I'll leave a link in the bottom bar for you guys if you guys live in Jersey and you wanna come say hey, cause I'll be there. And then the week after that, we leave for Colorado. Did I tell you guys that I'm going on a snowboarding trip? Cause I'm going on a snowboarding trip and I'm kinda nervous cause I've never been snowboarding. <sighs> I did get like butt pads and like a back pad. So I'm gonna be like that little kid on um, like the Christmas story. Like that, I feel like that's how I'm gonna look when I'm snowboarding cause I'm not, I'm not trying to die. I'm trying to stay on a hill that's like this. I don't want any of this, just this. <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and jump into the video. So you know the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to prep my face. I'm going to moisturize, prime, and then put on a lip mask. And these nails are driving me crazy. I'm getting these nails chopped off, just so you guys know. So say goodbye to the nails, because they are going, they are going, they are going, I'm over them. But my nail tech, she's gone for like two weeks, so I can't get them taken off yet. I might, I might go tomorrow though and let somebody else do them because they gotta go. You just gotta go. So, farewell nails, it was nice to know you, but you've gotta go. That, that can't be right. Okay, that was, that's better. That's, 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 not sure what was going on in there, but let's take some of this guy. It says it's oil free, but... So for foundation today, I'm going to use this Sephora one that I picked up the other day. This is their 10 wear perfection, 10 wear. This is their 10 hour wear perfection foundation. I don't, I don't think I've ever tried a like a Sephora foundation. And I swatched this one like on my hand and it felt really good. It looked like it had a pretty good coverage. It does say it has medium coverage on the back, but that it is buildable. And no mineral oils, non-comedogenic, which means it won't clog your pores. And yeah, so I don't know. I got, I got it in the color medium 25, which is a neutral color and it's called beige. So we're gonna see how this goes. I'm not really sure how much yeah, you should use. It's got like more like of a cream feel than like a liquid feel. So it blends out really easily and it like doesn't dry quickly. Like I said, it felt more, it feels more like a cream, but it is a liquid, but it's a little heavier than a liquid, a little bit lighter than a cream. And I think the coverage is pretty good. And I do like the finish on it. It's not like a super matte looking finish. As you can see, it's kind of like a satin finish. So you have a little dew to the skin. I don't know why I'm doing this. Like we're in a dream or something. Pretty good so far, pretty good, I'm mad at it. So now let's go ahead and move on to the brows. And I don't know if you can see all the crazy brow hairs that are happening underneath, but I'm going to get them threaded tomorrow. So next, moving on to the eyes, I'm gonna use this Makeup Geek pigment in the color Enchanted, and we're gonna focus this color right on the outer corners of our eyes. I'm trying to keep it pretty low, I don't wanna take it like super high into the crease. And I'm gonna use my trusty MAC 242 brush. I just really like this brush for packing on color to the lids. So again, we're gonna focus this on this like outer corner of our eye, and we're gonna try to keep it pretty low so we don't want it to be like super high in our crease. And again, the color is Enchanted from Makeup Geek. So 
So as you can see, I'm just packing on the color and then blending the color out with a larger, fluffier brush. I'm just going to repeat this process until I build the shadow up to the intensity that I like. So you can go over it three, four, five, six, seven, as many times as you want. I'm just repeating the same process, packing it on and then buffing it out. Then after you build the intensity to what you think you want, I'm just gonna take a clean fluffy brush and go over everything just to really diffuse the edges. I want it to be really soft and really blended. So take your time here and just make sure everything is, you guessed it, well blended. <laughs> Taking this Viseart palette, I'm just going to use a combo of this white and this like beigey color, and I'm gonna put this on the inner corner of our eye where there is no shadow, just to brighten it up a little bit. And then I'm back to packing color on and buffing it out. Debating on whether I wanna do winged liner or not. So I think I'm gonna skip to wing liner for now and I'm just gonna go ahead and put lashes on and then if we feel like we need wing liner, then we can go ahead and put some on. So I'm gonna use these from House of Lashes and these are called Featherette. I cannot get this lash on to save my life right now. There really is a meme for everything because I can just think of a meme about lashes right now. If I can find it, it'll be in the video. All right, one more time, lash. That's all you get. And then it's a big F you. Well, that took 18 years to get those lashes on. I've never had that much trouble getting a lash on. Okay, so moving on, I'm going to leave the eyes alone for a second, then we'll come back and darken up these edges and, you know, do a little highlight in here. But for now, I'm just going to let those lashes dry on there, so hopefully they stay on there, and we can move on to concealing, highlighting, and all that good stuff. Hello? Bulbon is back. You are Bulbon. For concealer today, I'm going to use the Make It Forever Ultra HD Concealer, and this is in R22. I know you're supposed to conceal and correct and do all that stuff, but... I don't want to do that. I just want to use this one. I just want to use this one. Then to set my foundation, I'm going to use the Studio Fix Powder in NC35. And I know I've said it a million times, but you guys still ask. This brush is from Sephora, and it's the Pro Airbrush. It's just, this was, I think, limited edition, the one with like the little roses on it, but they still have this actual brush. So it is the number 55 brush from Sephora. And then to contour the face, I'm gonna use this Kevin Aquan Tropical Bronzer. This is a cool bronzer. It has a little bit of shimmer to it and I just mix all the colors together. So I'm gonna do my cheekbones, my temples, and a little on the chin, and then blend it all out with a large stippling brush. For blush, I'm going to use the Kat Von D Shade and Light Blush in Bonnie and Clyde. What are you doing? What are you doing? 
cats don't care. He doesn't care that I'm filming a video. He's like, mom, pay attention to me. Come on, little boy. Come on, my little bad boy. Oh, mama, big boy. Oh, mama, big boy. For my most favorite part, we are highlighting. I'm using the Anastasia Glow Kit in Gleam, and I'm using the shade Crushed Pearl. I'm so obsessed with it, and the brush that I'm using is an Anastasia 823 brush, which I think is like the most perfect highlighting brush ever. So I'm gonna do my cheekbones, I'm gonna do the tip of my nose, underneath my brows, and then a little right above the brow to give them a little lift. And then I'm just misting my beauty blender and going over my highlight so it melts into our skin. So for underneath the eye, we're going to add a little bit of the same enchanted color from Makeup Geek. And I'm just going to use it on the same brush. I'm just going to pick the product up more like on the front tip of the brush. And then we're going to run this underneath the lower lash line. But we're going to stop like right where the pupil is. We're not going to take it all the way over. And then we can hit our tops and bottom lashes with mascara. Okay, so then we're almost done. The last thing I have to do is lips. And I'm going to use this one from Kat Von D. And it's called Roqueen. <laughs> I feel like I could never say Kat Von D name. My nose itches. I hate when my face itches. And I have makeup on. <laughs> R-E-Q-U-I-E-M. Roqueen. Roqueen. Uh. So because the lip was so light, all I did was take um, a fluffy brush and just go over my eyes a little bit to kind of just make the purple just like a little softer. The lip does dry matte, but I like a glossy lip. So I'm just going to use this one from Gerard Cosmetics. Is it's oh wait, that's a little... No, no. No, we need more of a clear gloss. So I'm going to use um, NARS Turkish Delight. And then this is the finished look. I really like this lip color. I've never worn a lip color like this. It's like almost lilac-y, but I'm feeling it. It turned more into like a mauve monochromatic look than a blushy tone, but I still really like how it came out. A thing that you guys should know when I film videos is I just sit down and film my videos. I don't ever like plan my videos out. It's whatever I'm feeling when I wake up in the morning. I'm like, do I want to film a makeup tutorial? Yes, let's film a makeup tutorial. And then I'll come sit down and I'll be like, um, let's do blush tones, but they ended up being mauve tones. So I don't ever really plan my videos videos out. That's just kind of the way my brain works. But I'm still really happy the way that this look turned out. It's just really soft and girly and pretty. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'll have more videos for you guys this week. I won't have one for you tomorrow because I need to go get these nails. I need to go get something done with this because I can't take them anymore, you guys. Like, I'm almost ready to pop them off myself. It's weird how, like, when you're into something and then you're over it, you don't want anything to do with it anymore. So I am gonna, um, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm still gonna have my nails done. I just want to try, like, a little shorter shape you know what I mean so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video I don't think that I have anything else to tell you guys remember that I will be in Jersey next Monday if you guys are out there please come see me at the Willowbrook Mall I will be there again from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. on Monday the 22nd so again that is it for this video I don't think I have anything else to tell you guys except I love you thank you so much for watching and until next time I will talk to you guys soon Bye.